campaign has inspired so much debate that our opponents and the city's political pundits have been forced to address our policies, whether they agree or not, namely the mansion tax and the rent freeze. <laughs> on the city to tax the rich, and this summer Seattle City Council approved a tax on wealthy residents. In wow. Canada, while the province and federal governments can tax incomes progressively, the city can only tax property with a flat rate. I don't think that's right. I think there should be a higher tax rate for more valuable properties. And that's why we're calling for a mansion tax, where people with a home worth over five million would pay an extra one percent and if it's worth over 10 million, they pay an extra 2%. And if your house is worth under 5 million, there's no change. So this plan will bring in about 174 million a year. Just one year with a mansion tax is more than enough to cover module, the cost of the modular housing to wipe out homelessness in this city. of the housing is social housing. On the second year, we could start building beautiful co-op and social housing for other people in the city who need housing. I'm the only candidate who's saying this. We've got to start making public land available to indigenous people for housing. substance into reconciliation by providing land for housing for indigenous people. For example, this policy, with this policy, the threat of condo development on the Musqueam Midden could have been stopped right away and the city could buy the land and return it to its rightful owners. This is the housing we need and we can pay for it with a mansion tax.